introduction and uh today we got a pretty cool video for you. I think it might be cool. Might be helpful for some of you guys that want to do some of the videos that I do. It's uh where to get where to get and what to use for good props and costumes for war movies and stuff. So let's start out with the guns. I've got two airsoft guns here and uh this one cost me about 10 bucks. This one we use mainly for like carrying in a holster or a far away shot. We don't really want to get up close with this one because as you can see it's mainly plastic and spring powered. This one is also spring powered but and mainly plastic but um, it does look really good. It's very detailed. This one I would definitely use for a uh, for like a close-up prop gun. Then uh, I mean, you can use it for anything. It just looks good. And uh, so these are airsoft guns. And uh, if you don't know what that is, look it up. These are spring-powered airsoft guns. They're probably the cheapest airsoft guns you can get, but uh, they don't always look the best, like this one. So put these over here. Next, um, an ammo crate, which will be seen, which has been seen in all of my zombie survival kits, and, uh, which will be seen in, uh, a movie coming up. Can't tell you when. Uh, a grenade, which has been seen in, um, I think like two different movies, and uh, these prop bullets, which will also be seen soon, but haven't been seen yet. Um, these are what are known as dummy rounds, and this is a practice grenade. And uh, the dummy rounds are like really, really great for like, say you have a slow mo shot, and the guy's shooting an M16 and you get a picture of like him and the bullets are falling to the ground and these are perfect that you can kind of just like throw them and, they're, and they'll spiral kind of the way they would if they were ejected from uh, an actual gun. This is side. Canteen also seen in um what's it called in a uh, my zombie survival kits and stuff. Um, all of all of this stuff, the dummy rounds, this and this and this, we I got at um, an army surplus store, and I'm sure if you have one near you, they'll almost definitely have it. So when it, Go check that out eventually. If you're really looking for, for something like that. Next is um just a gun holster. This was a mag carrier, which I also got at the uh, surplus store, army surplus store. But uh, putting that aside, um, this is a crossman pistol holster, which I originally got for this, but it'll fit just about any pistol you can find, and it's great. has the mag carrier right there, and uh, up next is a pretty big gun. This is the M. 14, which is seen in several movies, um, just off the top of my head, the, uh, ATM review with, uh, Assassination, uh, that was in there for the first time, and, uh, I don't know, the, that was in the Bin Laden video, it was in several videos, so, it was really nice, this is also spring-powered, I don't think that you can get a close-up with a assault rifle, but, uh, if you, if you could, I guess it would be pretty good for that. It, 
much it. Okay, so that's it for props. That over here. Up next to uh, costumes. We've got this uh, camouflage plate carrier vest. Uh, which I also got at an army surplus store. Um, really good costume. This was also seen in huge number of videos. Um, up next is for costumes is um, a uh, military uniform which I got from uh, my brother-in-law who is in the army. Uh, thank you for that by the way if you're watching it. Really great. And uh, that jacket was seen, that the whole uniform was seen in, um, in Hating Memory. That movie wasn't too good. And then here is the vest carrier seen in Just Look Cool and, um, my Zombie Survival Kit 3.0. Uh, this was also purchased from a, uh, from an army surplus store for about 31 bucks. Um, really good. Pretty old. But, uh, it's, a uh, great for a costume. And, uh, that's it. Just where you can get all this stuff. Pretty much it. Later.